something interesting. So I thought I'd uh, try and show you whilst I, I mess around with it myself. So one of the things about when I'm in Roll20, uh, if I go into one of my games, let's go into New Beginnings. This is obviously one of, one of my, my, my games that I run. It's my uh, Friday night game, to be precise. Just taking its sweet time to load stuff. This is a, a map from the Great Big Book of Maps, which you get from Dry Through RPG if it ever loads for me. There it goes. Right. Not even that big a map. It's because I'm probably using that bandwidth. So. You select a, a character's token. This happens to be Bree, who's a paladin. I uh, don't want to do the settings option. I want to do that one. And you get these series of icons. Now, these icons don't necessarily marry up with what we want to do in the game. There's things like shot in the back, backache, I don't know, trophy, radiation. They really don't make a huge amount of sense. Except for that one, which we used at Hunter's Mark, which is the archery target. Angel outfit. All for one. Sentry gun, yeah, because sentry gun grenade, they're really useful, aren't they? Um, so apparently Roll20, I don't know if this is new, but uh, I've just found out that you can actually create your own custom uh, token set. So if I, uh, let's exit the game. Go back to my home. Uh, if I go to Tools, and I can go to Token Marker Library. Uh, and I can create a set, so let's call it uh, My Custom Tokens. Uh, now it wants me to add images. So I've, I've actually sat down and made uh, a few images for my game state icon. So I've got a Bane icon. Uh, Barlick Inspiration. <laughs> Quite like that one. Blessed. Blinded. Actually, I haven't got Deafened. I've got to do that. Charmed. Uh, frightened. Uh, where's the add images dialogue on? There it is. Uh, grappled. Grappling hook. Haste. Hey, such a good spell. Hex. Hunter's Mark. Incapacitated. Invisible. I could probably drag and drop these on mass, but I'm doing it one by one. There's my Paladin Aura. Paralyzed. The only problem is my Paralyzed and my Petrified are the same one at the moment. Need to work on that. Need to find something else that I, I like the look of. Uh, prone. My Unconscious and my Prone look very similar as well, but it's hard not to. Restrained. Spider's Web. And Slow. So there's, there's the ones I've chosen, so I'm going to click on Upload. It's going to tell me it's processing my files. Hopefully it won't take too long. So I was using the token tool, just in case you're curious, um, to actually create the tokens. With just a simple white border. What's finding icons online? There we go. So they're all in there. So now, if I go back to home and I go to my game, I believe under settings. Oh no, it's here. There we go. Right hand side, token sets, default tokens. So if I add my custom tokens. And then I can remove the default token markers. And now let's go back inside. Let's go back to Bree, shall we? And there they are, look. Let's zoom in a bit, see if we can see these better. Now, I think they would do better. They've got transparent backgrounds on them at the moment. I think they would do better with white backgrounds. Because at the moment, they're hard to see because of their transparency. That's something maybe I need to work on. There you go. Take all these lovely tokens off of her. 
Usually she's hasted, so she's doing three attacks a turn, but there we go. All right, just a, a, a little tip there on, on how to create a custom token markers, I think they do describe them as. So you go to home. You don't have to go home there yet. To token marker library, create your new library, create your new, your new icons. And that's, that's showing me there, actually. So uh, if I go back to Token Market Library, this is telling me it's being shown in New Beginnings. So so whichever games I assign them to, it'll show them, which means I could probably take create a separate set, maybe if I need them for, say, Cyberpunk, for example, where I might need ones for Stunned, uh, etc. So that's pretty cool. There you go. I hope you, uh, you all found that interesting. And uh, I'll speak to you next time.